In this video, I'm going to share with you what I consider to be the five easiest subjects to draw. Do you think you know what they are? Well, stick around and find out. Hello there, everyone. Matt here with TheVirtualInstructor.com. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what I consider to be the five easiest subjects to draw. These subjects are great for beginning artists, especially because they'll give you confidence and confidence is very important in your drawing development. You want to have that confidence so you don't throw down that pencil and quit drawing. You need to practice and keep going. Now, even though these subjects are easy and you might be an accomplished artist, there's still subjects that you might want to explore because many of these subjects will improve your drawing overall. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what I consider to be the five easiest subjects to draw. Easy to draw subject number one, basic forms. Basic forms like a cylinder, a cube, a pyramid, and so on are great for understanding the way light behaves on a surface. It helps us get a good understanding of how value leads to the illusion of form in a drawing or painting. Now, basic forms are relatively simple and easy to draw, which makes them number one on our list, but that doesn't mean that they don't have merit. By practicing drawing basic forms, you'll have a better understanding of how light behaves and how light, or rather the use of value, can create the illusion of form on a three-dimensional subject. And we can use basic forms and basically piece them together to create more complex forms, leading to more complex drawings. That's why learning how to draw basic forms is usually the best place to start when you're just beginning learning how to draw. So number one on our list, basic forms. Number two on our list is linear perspective. Linear perspective is a method using lines and a vanishing point or vanishing points to create the illusion of space on a two-dimensional surface. Now, there are several different forms of linear perspective. There's one-point perspective, as we see here. There's also two-point perspective and three-point perspective. Now, what makes linear perspective easy is that it's a structured approach to drawing. It's great for drawing from your imagination. You can create scenes relatively easily and create the illusion of space in those scenes using one of the forms of linear perspective. Now, it is a structured approach, as I mentioned before, which means that there are a series of rules that you have to follow. And if you follow these rules, you'll end up with a drawing that looks three-dimensional. For folks who might struggle with one-point or two-point perspective, it's probably due to the fact that you learned one-point or two-point perspective incorrectly. But if you learn the basic rules that go along with each form of linear perspective, then you're going to find success. That's what makes this process easy. Now, I have several videos on working with one-point, two-point, and three-point perspective, which I'll link in the description below. Below. So if you want to learn more, you can find more lessons on linear perspective below. Of the forms of linear perspective, three-point perspective, as we see here, is the most difficult. The good news is that three-point perspective isn't really used that often, only if you have an extreme angle of viewing the subject, like from a worm's eye view or perhaps a bird's eye view. All forms of linear perspective are relatively easy to learn and implement in your own drawings. Easy subject number three, animated characters. Animated characters are designed to be easy to draw because they're drawn many, many times in order to create an animation. Oftentimes, there are many animators that work with the same characters, so many different people will need to be able to draw the subject over and over again accurately. Most animated characters are made up of basic and easy to draw shapes. But even with more complex animations like the one you see here, it is still just a simplification of the original subject. This simplification is also seen in comic book drawings as well. Comic books are made to be drawn quickly. And again, several different artists might work on the same comic book, which means that the characters need to be easy to draw and be able to be rendered relatively quickly as well. So comic book characters and animated characters, while they're fun to draw, they're also relatively easy. 
Number four on our list of easy things to draw are block letters. Now, lettering is an art form on its own, but creating block letters like you see here is fairly easy. All you have to do is draw out the letters and then make them look three-dimensional in a consistent manner. While drawing block letters is fairly easy, you can get real creative and you can also make them fairly complex as well. In this demonstration here, we have some fairly simple lettering that just about anyone can accomplish and find success with. Just make sure that the form that you add to each one of the letters is consistent across each letter and also add a little bit of shading or value to create the illusion of form and also the creation of a light source. As you can see here, I'm going back with a pen and adding some lines to make this look a little bit more three-dimensional and also add some shading to the blue parts of the letter. So block lettering is fairly easy, it's fun to do, and anyone can be successful with it. Easy subject number five are fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are a wonderful subject for creating drawings and paintings. They are made up of relatively simple forms though, which makes them very easy to draw. On top of this, fruits and vegetables are organic subjects which means that we have a little bit of liberty in creating our drawings and paintings. If there are small deviations from the reference or the subject that we're looking at, it's not going to be noticeable in the final drawing, which of course is most important. If you're looking for still life subjects to start with, if you're just beginning drawing, then fruits and vegetables are an excellent subject. Just find some oranges, some strawberries, some bananas, set them down, take a photo if you wish, and practice your drawing that way. It won't take you long to get the basic forms on your drawing paper, and then just focus and pay close attention to the deviations in value and all the details that exist on these subjects. And keep in mind, if you deviate a little bit from what you see, it's not going to be noticeable in your final drawing. That's why fruits and vegetables are an excellent subject for beginning artists, and why they're number five on my list of the easiest subjects to draw. So there you have it. That's my list of what I consider to be the five easiest subjects to draw. But I'd like to know what you think. If you think these subjects are easy, let me know in the comments. Or if you think they're difficult and shouldn't be on this list at all, let me know that in the comments as well. And if you're new to the channel or if you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you're notified when new videos like this are uploaded. And if you like this video, make sure that you give it a like as well. Now, if you want to take your drawing and painting skills to another level, then you've got to check out the membership program over at thevirtualinstructor.com, which gives you access to a ton of drawing and painting courses on a variety of subject matter and media. We do weekly live lessons over there, and all of our live lessons are recorded and stored, and you can go back and watch all the live lessons that we've ever broadcast. There's weekly critiques as part of the Members Minute, and there's also a year-long curriculum for visual arts teachers, which includes absolutely everything you need to teach. To learn more about our membership program and to start your week-long trial, just look for the link in the description below. And if you want to just check out three of our course videos and eBooks for free, you can do that as well. That will also put you on our mailing list and I'll send you a ton of free art lessons along the way. Thanks again for watching. And as always, I wish you all the very best in your artistic success.